Okay, so here's my resonator guitar without the strings or the cover or any of it. All right, here's the the pickup. I got bought a lace, and I tried it before I even did it. I put it on here and uh, put it through my little amp over there. And see, everything worked fine and beautiful. So, I, and I bought it because it was all put together and it seemed to me like there would be less, the least amount of soldering because I don't like soldering, I don't know how to solder it, and, but it looks like I'm going to have to learn because even if I, if I drilled a hole here for this to go in, right, I, this wouldn't work so I'd still have to cut it to put it in, right? So I thought, okay, well, fuck that, I'll just take the string and shove it in here with, with the end and then go over here and have it drill a hole and have it set in there. All right? Get out of the light here. However, here's the issue. It won't go through. There's just this much there, and that won't do. You see? Can't force it. I'm putting some pressure on it, it won't go. I don't want to tear up the edges of my guitar. It wasn't very expensive, but I, I, I use it a great deal. So, I'm going to have to learn how to solder. I think that's the only option. Darn it. Okay, guys, this is the, um, the, the cut piece. I cut it, and um, of this, remember we're talking about this here. All right, so I cut it, and I just soldered it, and I'm not a good solderer at all. You can see that big chunk right there. Let's see if I can get it almost. I doubt it's going to work, but can it work through all of that? I don't know. I've never done this before, so. The problem is, so then you, you, you do this, plug it in, set all the strings back up again, put it all back, and then find out that it doesn't work, and you have to take the whole fucking thing apart again. Is it worth doing it yourself or paying somebody to do it? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm done with the project and uh, works great. Listen to the tone. Uh, it's going through my little uh, no-name 30-watt practice amp. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'll show you just a second. Let's flip the camera. Okay, so you can see it work it right there, okay? Um, this is the footprint. It's fairly little, actually. Um, going across, there's a little bit of a ridge, but my action, because I play slide, is a little further. You can see. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't attach there, um, and it works very well. I'll show you. How am I gonna do? Okay, so this is the amp that it's going through. All right, just that. And then I have this little pedal, uh, like a preamp pedal. So I have the volume down to low. So I'll turn the volume on this off. All right. This is the guitar normally. All right, now I'll turn it up. This is the plug-in hole. All right, that's the back hole. This was, as far as a project goes, my one of my first. I'm not a big. I don't like. I think that your guitar has spirit, and uh, it, depending on how much you play, you imbue it with the spirit. And uh, it was really challenging um, coming from that perspective to drill a hole. In it. Uh, on the idea that it, 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 knowing my own potential at this, which is very little, so I'm like, okay, well, I could screw it up very easily, and I didn't. Um, uh, so 
yeah, I did end up having to buy a few tools um, that I didn't. I, I had to get a new, um, two new drill bits, uh, and then I have some files that I had to file off the edge because the 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 metal um, there's no batteries involved, so that there was no cutting. Thankfully, I wouldn't have done it then if there was. Um, so that's that, I guess. Um, the, the, it seems to work well. I hope you can hear it with the little phone microphone. Uh, it works pretty well. Um, that's without the pedal, the equalizer, equalizer pedal. slight curve um, instead of Bunsen curve where it goes like this uh, highs and lows and mids are very low and the volume is at a zero point while well, the middle point not low but the middle point turning the volume up off the click it's not boomy it's a little it's a little deep but I think you muffle anyway so I think that that'll be fine, um, and I can adjust that on the on the equalizer pedal. So there's that, you know. Uh, cool. Have a good day. Now I'm gonna paint. You know, inevitably somebody's gonna ask me why I um, I did that um, with the, the and. I don't really know. <laughs> I do a lot of gigs, and and um, I usually use a microphone uh, because I'm a bit of a tone whore, and I like I like the mic the microphone sound. Um, and this is because it catches the tone of the the body of the instrument resonating, you know, and that's that's why we all started anyway, right? We're playing that instrument or in instrument because we like the sound it makes. So I affect it. Um, Although it can be creative and fun, anyway. So, but the 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 whole point to, to doing it, I guess, was that it in some cases at some shows that I've played, it's been challenging to to get a microphone and then to get it. It, it gets weird, and, and so to make it easier, I guess, was the first um, was the idea. Hopefully, it'll be easier. Um, and to challenge myself in doing that. So, uh, all right, that's why. Here's the dog. She's her name is Marley. Marley, Marley, look at the people. Not me. Look here. Oh, look here. Look at them. Over here. Over here. No, over here. Yeah.